Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So JK Rowling's been trending on Twitter for the last few days over something that we're all kind of used to seeing out of her lately, which is using her legal team to silence her critics in opposition. It's almost become a meme at this point that if you say anything negative about JK Rowling and you live in the UK, it's not an if, it's a when, there's gonna be a knock at your door. Or a letter in your mail, something like that. Basically, her lawyers are going to come after you to say, you have to apologize this or we're going to take you to court about it. You know, we're going to keep you in litigation until you're broke. Obviously, she doesn't have to worry about that because she's still got her Harry Potter money coming in. But the UK is weird about their free speech laws. I get people over there can't say much. But I live in the US. You know, we're not ha we don't have any laws over here about telling the truth about what people are saying on the internet. And... I have no fear about saying that J.K. Rowling is denying the Holocaust. There's no way around it. The lady she's suing, Rivka Brown, was someone who pointed out to her that she is aligning with the Nazis ideologically about her gender beliefs. You know, the post in particular that started this was from about a month ago, reads as follows. The Nazis burnt books on trans health care and research. Why are you so desperate to uphold their ideology around gender? Now, I know this account doesn't have a name on it. That's because this was screenshotted and posted directly by J.K. Rowling, where she replied with the following. I just, how? How could you type this out and press send without thinking, I should maybe check my source for this, because it might have been a fever dream. Now, this, in no easy words, is Holocaust denialism, because the Nazis did burn books on trans healthcare, and entire institutes dedicated to its research. This is an undeniable fact, and even if you say this in Germany, you'll be thrown in jail for Holocaust denialism. Their courts have already set a precedent on that, that that is considered Holocaust denialism. So, I don't really know what legal ground she has to stand on against this Rivka Brown, but I know it's because she has so much money because she can throw her wallet at people and crush any opposition. But again, fortunately for all of us, we still have people in the United States who aren't afraid of these sort of lawsuits and litigations. We have anti-slap stuff out here that protects us from insanely wealthy people using their prestige and using their name to silence the truth that's being said about them. This isn't anything new to J.K. Rowling, by the way. This probably happens every two to three months, where someone points out that she's a bad person, or says bad things, or aligns with bad people, and they'll get slapped up. They'll get hemmed up in lawsuits and litigation, and no one can really handle that. You know, we're all struggling with money. I don't care what country you're from. Most of us are a check or two away from being in the poorhouse. So rather than stand up for what you believe, and be homeless, sometimes you have to apologize to bigots on the internet because they would be able and more than willing to ruin your life. J.K. Rowling's been a really peculiar character in my life for a long time now because I don't think she realized how bad she's fumbled the bag. You know, the people who align with her ideologically, with the stuff that she espouses now, who knows how long she's believed it, but definitely that she's gotten more vocal about in the last 15 years. They don't care about the products she's made. They don't care about her writing. They don't care about any of her books. And the people who did care about her books are disgusted by her rhetoric. You know, it's undeniable that a huge contingent of the Harry Potter fan base was gay. And to hear this sort of stuff coming out from an author that you really enjoyed, it's a slap in the face to a lot of people. I know more people who regret their Harry Potter tattoos than regret trans surgeries that have been performed. So, you know, that percentage is actually higher. And, you know, you gotta wonder, if that's the regret that people are having, maybe we should really stop her from saying anything else on the internet, you know? We gotta protect the kids. We have to protect people from themselves. And this includes getting really pathetic tattoos put on you because you enjoyed a book. But I can't hate you for that. 
I read the books when I was in second and third and fourth grade, and then I got introduced to Brandon Sanderson. So maybe that's why I don't like her so much is because I don't have these rose tinted glasses like a lot of people do. But it goes without saying that J.K. Rowling is denying the Holocaust right now, and you should make fun of her for it. You should point this out and you shouldn't let it stand. At least I hope you don't. I hope you have a little bit of backbone with the authors you enjoy. But, you know, until another famous person decides to deny history, y'all try to have a good day.